All right, guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we can see we're at the mall, all right, because tis the season, right? Not specifically at the mall, but at the parking lot of the mall. But we're not gonna be going to the mall today. We're just gonna be uh, parking at the mall because we're gonna be messing with parallel parking and perpendicular parking. We wanna see if we can add perpendicular parking to our truck. So you can see our perpendicular parking is just excellent, right? But we're gonna see if we can uh, maybe back up perpendicular park with the new four scan, see how that works. All right, but first we're gonna see if we can parallel park here, right in this spot right here, see how that works. So we're gonna engage the park assist and you can see it'll say parallel parking and it's gonna be scanning for a spot. So it found a spot, but I wanted to go to the next spot, right? So I'm gonna find another spot now. Still finding. All right, so it says pull forward to start. You can kind of see here from the mirror, but it's still saying to pull forward. Stop, remove hands from shift and reverse. Reverse. You see the steering wheel is gonna be moving on its own now. And it's gonna slowly back in. I only have my foot on the brake. All right, saying it's finished. Now you can always scoot it up because I'm really close to the one in the back. All right, we're gonna try do a parallel park, but on the left side. See, it's detecting on the right side here. Put the blinker to the left, and that'll detect to the left side. Okay, so the default's to the right. So it's looking. It has to detect both cars. There it is. Stop, reverse. Done. All right, so now using force scan, we're going to see if we're going to enable perpendicular parking on this truck. All right guys, so we got our OBD link EX and don't forget to check out the link in the description to see if we can still get you a good discount on these, man. A great discount these guys gave us. All right, now we're gonna open up Forescan. All right, we're gonna hit okay and go down here to the bottom left and connect. And hit yes, let everything load, and you'll see on the very bottom it'll say ready, ready to go. We're gonna go into configurations. Now we're gonna go into the PAM module, but let's look at the regular PAM module, not the as built one first. All right, so you can see you can have toggle switches here for the parallel, park assist, tow bar, trailer backup, and the trailer tow package. But there's nothing about perpendicular parking. So this is where it helps to have the, you know, to go through the as built. So we hit stop here, configurations again, and now it's going to the as built module for the PAM, P-A-M. We're gonna hit run, hit okay. All right, we're gonna go into 736.0401 and that second digit is what we're changing. All right, we're gonna make that a two. We're gonna click on right read the warning signs here also and then hit yes all right right 
hit OK. All right, let's hit stop. Let's go ahead and disconnect and now let's go check it out and see if it worked, okay? All right, so maybe we came to the wrong place to find a parking spot because the mall is packed. All right, so we're at the mall and we're gonna see if we can perpend uh, perpendicular park in one of these spots. Set the button. Not parallel, we're gonna do perpendicular. So it says, this to left. Oh yeah, see so it'll find the left and right also. Scanning spot. Well, we should have found a spot by now. There's a bunch of empty spots right there. Well, let's try getting closer to the cars. Let's see if it'll pick up this spot here. Spot found. Okay, so it says pull forward, 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 forward. Okay. Put in reverse. Put in reverse and back up slowly. It's actually going to the other spot. So it knows the other spot is closer. And it's getting pretty close to the truck over here, but it's not hitting into the car. Not bad. It's not bad. How much further you want me to go? Still saying to back up, but it's turning a bit much. Yeah, I don't want to keep going further. So, straighten her out and go that way. Alright, we're going to see if we can try find a spot right here on the right side, see if it does any better on the right. Not parallel, but perpendicular. Okay, let's keep going forward. Spot right here, spot found, stop, reverse. Know is going to hit that car saying shift forward and it's turning the steering wheel. Now it's saying shift reverse, it knows it's close to the other car in front, and it automatically it's going to go that way again. Let's see if it straightens out. Turn, 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 turn. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. It's quite a bit close to this car. Yeah. So perpendicular parking is not the best on a truck. I think if it was on a car, I think it'd work a little better, but you can tell I'm facing kind of a little at an angle that way. Uh, a lot of space on the right side, no space on the left side. All right guys, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of these other videos that I got too, okay? Deuce. Man, there's way too many people at the mall already, man.